I've been up for a minute, but I'm going to say it anyway. Good morning. Yes, yes. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of God Concept. It's episode number 24. I'm your host, Mr. Pagan. I don't got no topic to talk about this morning. I just felt like I wanted to say good morning to y'all. Good morning. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, have good morning. Morning Wheaties or whatever it is that you do for the morning time. I took a nice steamy shit. I hit the shower. Now I'm talking a little shit to y'all. You know, one thing about it is, you know, we got to try to stay positive. We got to try to start every morning off right. That's like more essential than breakfast in the morning. Start your morning off right. Start your morning off with a good message, a good vibe. You know what I mean? That's more important than a good breakfast at times. Um, you know, I caught myself overindulging. You know, and you gotta understand anything that's a good thing, too much of it is not too good. You know what I mean? We got these bodies to, to they, they sustain themselves. They're not really, they don't require too much work. All you gotta do is exercise and do your daily shit. And they'll keep running and working for you, right? But we try to put other substances in there. You know what I mean? The tobacco, the vape, the weed, the fucking cigarettes, the fucking Molly Shroom ecstasy, perk pills, and fucking crack or weed or whatever it is. You know what I mean? You put all types of shit in your body, man. Hennessy, the alcohol, the beer. Your body don't need none of that shit. Water, sustenance, some exercise. You know, just remember to get your mental, you know, your mental property out there. Get your, uh, you know, your intellectual property out there. Because that's the only thing he can't take from you at the end of the day. You know, grow spiritually from more in tune with your creator. You know, it's funny that I started talking about substances, right? Because you got to look at it, right? Cointel Pro, right? We're going to talk about Cointel Pro right now. All right. It's a fact that the FBI has illicit drugs, right? That's mind altering, right? They can, um, they can make you do things and say things and see things and hear things that you wouldn't normally say, see, hear. And I mean, when I say see, I don't mean like physically. I mean like see far as your perception of things because people kind of goofy and they might not understand what I'm talking about. What I mean by see is Fuck up the perception, your perception of reality with these drugs, with these illicit drugs, you know, and right now it's a lot of shit going on where, you know, you really don't know who they could have somebody out here for years, you know, as a drug dealer or whatever the case may be, you know, and they make sure that you got the substances that you need that they want and you deliver those substances to that person. They're going to buy them from you. It's going to, you know, look like a normal transaction. But for real, what you did was you spiked whatever it is that you're giving that person or selling that person, you know, as as an operative. You're giving them a a spiked concoction with some type of sprinkle in it that's mind altering, that's body altering at times. You know, we take these substances, you know, we some of us use them as tools to help us develop and grow and learn different things and expand our mind and expand the way we think and things of that nature. Sometimes even, you know, we use to medicate like the marijuana and things of that nature for depression and illness, body aches, you know, maybe glaucoma, some shit like that, you know, you'll use weed for. But yeah, you have to be careful in, in, in dealing with people nowadays because you have a lot of agents out here. And what I mean by that is, if you notice, every municipality, every city has a big-ass FBI headquarters in it, right? And do you think that building is just sitting there? you think everybody that work in that building is just sitting in that building? 
Fuck no. They're all over the fucking neighborhoods. They're all over the fucking place. They're gathering information from out the city, throughout the city, through every fucking avenue of the city. I mean, every corporation, every job, everything that's out there. You know, they search and comb these places for certain people. You know, if they're, if they're, um, if they're running an investigation or something like that, it's easier for them to run investigations in your life if they already have people in place in your life. Anytime they can just activate. Boom. Give me the information about this person. You'll never fucking know. Because they, 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 they take a vow of secrecy. They're not the cops. They're not the cops. You know what I mean? They don't have to tell you whether they're a cop or not, because they're not the cops. These people do these things. And, you know, to be honest with you, even the whole recruiting process for said organization, right? They'll manipulate your life until they're ready for you. They'll manipulate and play with your life until they're ready for you. And they'll set you up, put you in a situation where you get locked up or arrested. And then they take you into a secret room and debrief you. And either you're working for them or you're fucking not. But either either way, you're working for them. Because it's like, you, you can't say no. You don't want to say yes, but you can't say no. And then to know that all these people have all this influence in your life... What they wind up doing is paying you off for something like that when you don't want to work with them. When you're not accepting of their advances. Because there's special people out there who have special abilities. You know what I mean? Not like superhuman or mutant or anything like that. But they're extraordinary. Extraordinary abilities. You know, whether that's vision, whether that's uh, hand-eye coordination, whether that's fighting, computers, weaponry, whatever the case may be, these people are constantly recruiting people. And it's it's good for them when you just sign up for the military, right? Because then you enter into that system willingly, right? Whereas though being a citizen with, you know, all these talents and attributes that um that an organization like this would love what they do is they they entrap you it's called entrapment they can put you in a jar okay there's this thing called clairvoyance it's kind of your perception when you can hear you can't see but you can hear outside the jar that you're being contained in i'm telling you this cuz i'm a i'm a researcher you know, purely uh, research purposes, I caught myself looking into this stuff and I was just amazed and enamored at how intricate, how intricate, you know, the tactics is of our municipalities and our cities that we live in. You know, they get into your life before you even know they're into your life. You know, These municipalities and organizations could follow you around your whole life and actually, you know, stare how they want your life to go. Those who know, know. And those who know probably wondering, how the fuck does he know? (laughs) You know, my mom, she's fucking brilliant, right? She's a very smart woman. She was... She was in middle school, I think, or or elementary school or something like that. And they wanted to put her in fucking college as a child. So I have that same brain. Now, some people like to think that she lost her mind or something like that. She got, uh, you know, they call it a roofie or a Mickey or something like that, where they give you something that alters your mind and make you go crazy and things of that nature. But... As a child, I remember her saying and 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 remembering things and showing me things. 
you know, that I really can't put my finger on because I don't, you know, I don't like talking about anybody's other, you know, anybody else's accounts and what they went through. But as far as what my mother showed me and what my forefathers, my, my mother, my father, my grandparents on both sides of my family put in me was these genetics, these certain traits that we have that we don't lose. My grandfather was a detective. I got all kinds of heritage and culture. Heritage and culture are all in me, right? So I got to stand up. So that being said, it's like they, they, they kind of, they kind of cultivate these things in certain people. And when they see and notice these things in you, they'll kind of hunt you the fuck down. You know, not even kind of hunt you down. They'll hunt you down. And it's not in a sense of like, you got to be scared or anything like that. I mean, you should be kind of concerned because their tactics are rather intrusive on your life. Only reason I know about this is because I'm a 2 eight advocate. I do a lot of things in my spare time. I like to play games. I like to build guns. I like to uh, be a gunsmith. I like to be a producer, a publisher, an artist, and an author, right? I wear many hats. I'm a great driver, CDL driver, electrics, all of this shit. I'm good at it, right? My thing is, I know when I'm being jarred. And I don't think they know that I know that I know, but I know. You know, I've been through a lot of things and I've seen a lot of things in my life, but some things you just can't get past or really wrap your head around. You know, and lately, you know, for the past so-and-so years, I've been introduced and been previewed to some people in my life, you know, some good, some bad. Either way, it's just an interaction, right? The whole thing is, I can notice when people are moving differently than they're supposed to move. I can notice that, you know, when somebody's trying to tie me up, fuck me and rob me. You know, and a lot of times that's what happens to a lot of these men and women out here. They get tied up, fucked, robbed, exploited. Let me let me give you the rundown how they do it. They'll drug you. They'll zip tie you. They'll fuck you or something like that. Fuck with your mind, fuck with your body, fuck with your spirit in one way or another. Drugs, however. And then they'll rob you. They'll take with you have, with, what you have. Whatever they're taking from you is going to be something of significance. You're going to want it back, and they're going to want to keep it. And they're going to wind up trying to corral you into going to prison. And prison is where they actually um, initiate you or have you sign a, a disclosure agreement because you can't discuss anything that you've been through. So you, shine, you sign a non-disclosure agreement and they pay you X amount of dollars so you can live your life and go on and, you know, do your thing freely, right? Because you denied their advances after they entrapped you and you realize that. But the thing is, if you don't realize that you're in a jar, if you don't realize that you're being, uh, uh, that you're being exploited and entrapped, in a way that seems like you're not being exploited and trapped. But I told you, the municipalities and cities are built up around this whole thing. So it's like, if they're exploiting you and they're trapping you and they're, they're tying you up, they're fucking you and robbing you, right? They're drugging you, tying you up, fucking you and robbing you, exploiting you all around the board, right? There's really nothing you can do about that. If you don't take their advances... They can take you to jail for whatever situation that you're in, that, you know, your life situation caused you to get into, one that they made or, or didn't make. Because a lot of us seem entrapped. 
A lot of us seem like, yo, how the fuck did I wind up here? And it's because you're being jarred by whatever organizations is in your city. And if you pay attention, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fucking federalities down there. I'm talking about them boys down there. You got to be careful because they will fuck your life up. They will fuck your life up if they feel like they want to see who you are. They'll fuck your life up if they want to deem you as some type of threat to somebody. They'll fuck your life up if Joe Biden is against Second Amendment and they want to, you know, build you up to be like um, a domestic terrorist or some shit like that. They'll fuck your life up. They'll send you all type of illicit thoughts and messages in your mind. And and, and physically as well, because remember... These entities just not messing with your mind. They're not just in your mind or in your, you know, subconscious or wherever they put, you know. These these entities plays with everybody. They're not just dealing with you. You got to realize that when they want to, they can personally make somebody say something. Subconsciously, they can tell a person to say something that will antagonize you. It's a form of entrapment. Without ever entrapping you. It's the highest level of manipulation. Okay, it's, it's on a Masonic level of manipulation. Okay? Because you gotta remember, all these entities and umbrellas and corporations, whether federal or non federal, are all under one umbrella. And that is the order, right? So that's what you're dealing with when you're living in these cities. And that's why you can't really achieve your goals or reach your dreams. Because a lot of people don't want to see you get there. A lot of people will realize that you're special and they can use you in other ways. And they don't want to lose you. So they don't want you to get to where you're supposed to be. So they have you doing not stupid shit all your life, but they'll have you doing shit other than what you're supposed to do all your life. So they could trap you from getting what you what, what, what the creator wants you to get. So they could trap you out of getting to where the creator wants you to get. Because if you're not if you're not following your goal or your dream or, or, or doing what the creator wants you to do, then you're doing what man wants you to do, right? Then you're stuck in the system behind a paywall behind what man wants you to do. See, the system only flourish if they get you not to follow your dreams or see your potential. So that way they can stick you in their system, at their job, in their career, or in their facility somewhere to use the talents and the abilities that the creator gave you for their own selfish gain and wealth. We got to wake up. On my on episode 23 and on previous episodes, I told y'all that I like to take half of the segment in the morning, half the segment at night. But fuck that. Because I'm mad right now. You know what I mean? Because I'm 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 telling you the truth, man. That once you realize, you know, a, a lot of you out there, I don't know who's listening to this podcast. But a lot of you have that mental capacity or that mental fortitude to figure this thing out. And once you figure out that you're being toyed with and tampered with by the city that you're in, by whatever entity or corporation is being controlled by, uh, you know, whatever umbrella it is under, it's going to fuck you up. It's going to fuck you up mentally. And that's why... You have a lot of people go crazy because of them toying with their mind. You have a lot of people that lose their mind behind this shit, but they won't come out and tell you that. They won't come out and tell you that the homeless problem is what it is because they fuck with people's minds and drive them crazy to the point where they lose everything. And then they just let them go to the wayside because they can't expose themselves. Okay? Girl, is you and I? There, there you go. I fucking said it. Okay, a lot of our homeless problems, a lot of our uh, problems with the home, the home life, the, the wives cheating on the husbands or the husbands killing the wives and things like that, it's because of the mental mind games that our cities, our municipalities, the umbrella that, that they're under plays with the minds, the subconscious. 
The only reason I'm doing this is because I don't ever want my kids to be a victim of that. I don't want myself to be a victim of that, even though right now I'm going through sad process. Right? I don't want nobody else to be a victim of that. They shouldn't be allowed to play with a person's mind to the point where they're homeless and have nothing for themselves. They shouldn't be able to play with a person's life to the point where they can't provide for their kids or or, or they lost their family just because they want them a part of some organization. Or they might not even like that person. That's the whole thing about it. Because if a person, if a man or a woman has this type of fucking power, right? To necromance or put some type of illicit drug on you, right? It's almost like a powdery substance or whatever, like crack or some shit like that, meth or whatever the fuck it is, right? The whole thing is, if they have that power to control people, what's to say they won't do it for their own personal gain? What's to say that they won't steal from you for their own personal gain? What's to say that they just won't fuck up your life because... You probably fuck somebody that they love. Or you probably, uh, 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 somebody that they love doesn't like you. Or they want to get you back. Or, or is vengeful. Any type of revenge type situation. What's to say they won't use it for that? What's to say that, that they just need, they won't just need a terrorist, right? They, they'll be like, all right, who's collecting guns over there in Philadelphia? Okay, that guy's a gun collector. He's a two-way advocate let's try to make that guy out to be a fucking terrorist or something or make him be a bad person this is what they do to you the fbi the masonic order and all the municipalities and organizations and corporations under one umbrella would choose to fuck your life up and i'm saying that right now because i can't say too much but i'm saying enough to cover my ass because i actually dive into a lot of things I don't fuck with no federalities. Never have, never will. Right? But I am an American. I'm a, I'm a tactical civilian who love to do things like play with their kids, be on my computer, make my music, write my books, publish my books, be a producer my music and things like that. And I want to do the same thing for my kids. But when I see, I feel, I hear, and I know being of sound mind and body, that I'm being jarred in a way, then I'm going to say something about it because I like telling the truth. And my truth is that. My truth is me knowing what's going on, me still being played with for however many fucking years. They chased my mother too. They made my mom go crazy. They put people and things in, in our life as when I was a child that I seen that I understand now, when I was a child, that played a pivotal role in my life and my mother's life, all right? So be mindful of the company you keep. Be mindful of the things you do because it might not even be your doing. It might be somebody, you know, manipulating you or controlling you in a way to do these things. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm not still in the midst of whatever, you know, troubles I'm going through or whatever. I'm not. To be honest with you, I need fucking help. To be honest with you. Because I've never dealt with nothing like this before. And I'm trying to fight them. I'm trying to combat something that you really can't combat. You know, something that's internal or external. You know, and it's hard to combat that thing that you're trying to fight against. When it's unseen forces, and when you do see the forces, what, what can you do? What can you do but turn the other fucking cheek and walk away? They say if you can't beat them, join them. But if I can't beat them, I'd rather strategize. Because to be honest with you, I'm never losing my freedom. I'm never losing my freedom of being me, my freedom of speech, my freedom of self. My freedom of who I am, who I am, life, liberty, and, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm not going to ever abandon that. You know, and that's what they all want us to do, run around here like a chicken with your fucking head cut off. When in all actuality, everything, all your hopes, all your dreams, all your desires, everything that you ask for or been wishing is behind these paywalls that they put up. 
And it's up to you to either break out of that paywall, expound upon that paywall, work with the paywall, or just live every fucking day like you don't know it's there. And a lot of us choose to live every fucking day like we don't know it's there. You know what I mean? Because, you know, to be honest with you, most of us don't know it's there. You know, but you have to wake up. One day, eventually, you have to wake up. If not for yourself, for your children. Because they playing with lives out here, man. They playing with lives out here. You know, half of us go through things in our life and we don't even realize why we going through this shit. Like, some of us be having good fucking lives and don't even realize, like, where did it all go wrong? How did it all go wrong? Why did it all go wrong? And it's because these people and these municipalities and these corporations and these buildings is fucking with the everyday person's mind, soul, and body. That's why you have to be careful because it goes deeper than the substances that we take. You know, they could be fucking with a loved one of yours or somebody that you're dealing with or somebody that you're trying to be intimate with. And next thing you know, this person is involved with you. And now next thing you know, your fucking life is going to shit. No, you have to be careful because it's very intricate. They're not just dealing with you. They're not just toying with you in a way. They're toying with everybody. They're toying with the entire city. Cattle hurting you into what they want you to do. Bottom line, you know, I'm saying this now because, to be honest with you, you know, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But I want as many people out here to be aware of this so this way they could be more cautious and careful about the way that they move and the way that they do their shit and the way that they think because I'm always careful about mine, right? And... I don't want to see anybody else. Kids life get thrown away. Their family life get thrown away. Their life get thrown away because they're being jarred and entrapped by a system that want to control even the way that you fucking think. This thing is older than any of us, right? They want to control the way that you think, the things that you do every day, your hobbies, the way that you see the world. The way that you view your friends and your family life, the way that you make money, the way that you speak, the way you use the abilities that the creator gave you. This is what they want to do. You know, you can say, why, why, why all the conspiracy, you know, why all this, why all that? Because that's how it was before and that's how it's, that's how it's still going to be. You know, when you got, whenever you got people here on this firmament, right? You're going to have people wanting to be in power and in charge of other people. You know, so there's a construct going on here that's been built for a while, that's been here for a while, you know, and you're born into that. And when you're born into something, you can't see the walls around you because you're in the walls, you know, but as you grow, as you evolve, as you get older, and as you realize more things, you'll start to notice like, hey, this isn't adding up. This whole thing isn't adding up, you know? And I'm just here trying to make it add up for you, you know, because there's a lot of people out there with questions, concerns, things in their mind. They think they might be going, you know, ill or something like that. And all the times that's not the case. You got to realize that. There's some people out here that's so fucking special and, and has so many, so, 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 like so many abilities. You know, it was a guy that I talked about. He, he basically couldn't do nothing. People called him a retard. I called him a fucking genius because he could take any number that you said to him instantaneously calculate it into whatever equation, mathematical equation, right? And he would just sit at McDonald's all the time and people would just, you know, like kind of like be shocked and amazed and also pick on him and say, hey, what's one million seven hundred and seventy six uh, times something, 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 something. And he would add it up and he would always be right. He was like better than the fucking Texas instrument calculator. Right. Because with them, you got to push the button with him. You could just say it and he'll fucking calculate it. Right. 
But the whole thing is, you know, what's to say that a person like that isn't utilized for something? Or that's why they have people go crazy, because the best supercomputer out here is your mind. Your mind is the best computer. And if they could come up with a way to, to link minds together and have kind of a surveillance system that can think, that can live, that can breathe, that can sustain itself, then they don't really have to really put too much money out on technology. This is why when you go places like Norway and, 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 and Greenland and things like this and the Netherlands, you see their technology is way far advanced than ours. That's because our technology is way for it, way far more advanced than we actually see. In some places, they have fucking 10G. Anybody ever heard of this 10G shit? It's crazy. I'm on 5G. 4G, LTE, 5G. They got 10G over there in fucking Iceland's and Norwegians and shit like that. No, they got some places you look up in the sky, you can see, you can see two suns and two moons in the sky and shit like that. I'm shitting you not. I'm not lying to you. If you ask people that go on vacation, they know these things. But they don't really tell people about these things. Why not? Maybe they not supposed to tell people about these things. Why nobody ever take a picture of that shit? Because somebody told me about it and I was wondering the whole time, why don't you take a fucking picture of some shit like that? You got to expand your horizon, man. You got to learn more because we're caught in the, techni- in the technology of last century, right? We have last century's technology that, that, that they're shoving down our throat, right? When they're already a century ahead, right? Even beyond that. Because the construct is to act like everything isn't already far more advanced than you can actually tell, right? Like this phone right here. They're coming out with phones that look almost clear, see-through, right? Who's to say that that already wasn't a thing? Somewhere else, in another place, right? Maybe over in England, Scotland, or maybe overseas some fucking way, right? The technology is there for them to be able to do anything and manipulate your life the way that they want to. Don't make it easy on them. And don't deem yourself to be fucking crazy or insane if you're not. Understand yourself. Some people have to go to therapy to understand who they are as a person, mentally, spiritually, physically. You don't have to go to therapy, okay? You're not fucking crazy. Just talk to somebody or listen to something that, that's, that's speaking or pertaining to what you're dealing with in your life, okay? Mental illness is real, but the only way you develop mental illness is if someone makes you mentally sick. This municipality, this umbrella, this organization, they make people mentally sick on purpose. Okay? Every day they play in your mind and they try to make you sick intentionally for, for their own gain or their own benefit. I know what you're saying. What the fuck would it benefit them to make one person sick? Well... If they do make you sick in the mind, and they already had several so many people sick in the mind, and this is how they gain their operatives or their intel or their information or how their system works with your brain juice, with your brain energy by connecting to you mentally, spiritually, physically even, through the substances that we take, then you're not just a drop in the bucket. Your addition to a huge pool of information and, 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 and utilities that they have at their disposal. You know, that's how they look at us, as disposable utilities. And we got to wake up and start using our own intellectual property, or they'll steal it all from us and use it for themselves. Wake up, people. Love y'all. God bless. Hey, real quick, guys. This is Mr. Pagan here. Just want to let y'all know that I have books available on Amazon, Kindle, bookstores, and on your phones. I got two great titles available and a third one coming soon. My philosophy is, if you got a smartphone or a smart device, you already got my book in your hands. 
It's free for download if you got Kindle Unlimited. And it's five dollars otherwise. For uh one leap of faith is five bucks. And for my book Morals and Values is five twenty-five. Both of them are packed with insightful information on morals and values. And one leap of faith is to push you to to, to get on your ground for your goals. You know what I mean? Two powerful books. I got a thriller coming up called Moonlit Marshes with a, a character, the protagonist is Marshall Cuts, and he's trying to uh, get his way, uh, he's trying to find his way out of Louisiana without getting himself uh, hurt or killed or something. It's a great suspenseful book, please check it out, it's going to be on Amazon Kindle Store. Remember, both these books are available for free, One Leap of Faith and Morals and Value, you got Kindle Unlimited. They're available for free. And also, don't forget to check out my game stream on YouTube, Gaming Vaping Guns. And on Twitch, I'm GVG215. All right? And also, my music streams on all streaming platforms. Whether you got Apple, it's there. Whether you got Tidal, guess what? It's there. You listen on Spotify? Yeah, I'm on Spotify. This podcast is actually on Spotify. Also, the music. So, yeah, we, we well-rounded. Everything that I'm doing is complimenting each other. So please, support the movement, support my brand, support the positive energy that I'm putting out there. And you guys, be blessed. May peace be with you.